Welcome to this little plasma demonstration video or tutorial. I want to show you how you can have different widgets and different wallpaper backgrounds for different yeah, desktops. In the past it was possible to have a virtual desktop and switch virtual desktops to have different wallpapers and widgets. In Plasma 5 this feature it works a little bit different technically. It's not a virtual desktop anymore but an activity and I want to show you how you can yeah, achieve this uh, feature. What you have to do is just go into your settings. I'm running here Netrunner, plain vanilla Netrunner, but it should work on every Linux distribution uh, equally that ships a decent Plasma 5 version. Uh, you can go to activities and settings. You can search for activities if you don't find it. I have it here because I used it last time. I click on activities and I create new activities. I can create as many as I want to. So in my case, I would just want to have uh, three other activities, just like for example, standard two. Choose a little nice icon if I want to and uh, create standard free here and um, in this case I don't need to uh, choose an icon if I don't want to. I have the option to switch between those activities just by uh, using here the switching tab and see meta tab is what I usually use to switch between those activities. So press meta tab and you will end up on a different activity. If you hold meta tab you can see the bar and you can see the different uh, standard 3, standard 2 activities. We can also click on them just like for example I want to go to standard 2 and what I can do now is configure this standard 2 just like I want to configure my desktop normally I want to have the default plasma uh, wallpaper here I want to have a widget just like the analog clock here in the corner and now I can go to my standard 3 and I can configure the desktop as well and I want this wallpaper here and maybe I want a binary clock, because why not? And now to switch between those activities I can just use this uh, switching method. But you can see also that I have something in the taskbar here which is the activity pager widget. So usually you can go just simply here at widgets and search for activity pager and you can just add it to your taskbar and this looks like yeah a heck lot like the virtual desktop switcher and you can just click on it to switch between different activities. As you can see here activities have different windows as well so it works like a yeah like a normal uh, virtual desktop switcher but in this case it uses activities to switch between two. You can also configure the activity pager just by going to configure here and you can set various different types of activity number. I want to show the activity name if I'd like to. You can apply, you can see the activity name or use activity number. It was use numbers or no text at all. You can also use the icons if you'd like to. So it will show the icons of the activity or the applications running. And um, you can also say uh, only show the current screen if you have many different screens and different activities on different screens, which is also possible. In newer Plasma versions, there's a new activity pager setting, which allows you also to set, I think, keyboard shortcuts uh, to directly switch between different activities by pressing a different keyboard combination, just like you would on a virtual desktop. In this case, this is a version 5.14, which doesn't have this feature yet. Uh, selecting current desktop does nothing is also a possibility or you can say uh, show a desktop so if I'm on the current desktop and I want to click here it will minimize all applications click again it will maximize all applications uh, you can config configure it uh, to your likings so that's a short tutorial on how you can achieve the different wallpapers and different widgets on different desktops um, with the help of activities. If you want to learn more about activities there are plenty of videos on YouTube that teach you what you can do with activities, how you can stop and uh, resume activities and uh, many many more. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.